This morning, we're also getting our first look at new video of the moments before a man opened fire inside of a Fort Worth bank, injuring a security guard. This is stunning video. Breaking news anchor Megan Mitchell joins us from the newsroom to walk us through the footage. And Megan, to say this is a scary moment for the deputy, I mean, I'm sure his life flashed before him. And that's exactly it, Kara. For the first time, we're seeing what he saw. This new surveillance video from inside the Fort Worth Community Credit Union really gives us a glimpse of last week's chaotic scene. Take a look here. You know, at first, it looks like a typical day. At a credit union, a man walks in to the teller and casually takes a seat. Then, moments later, draws a gun and begins shooting. Two bullets hit an off-duty deputy working security. That deputy, 35-year-old Brent Brown, suffered wounds described as mortal in both the abdomen and shoulder. Video shows he stayed standing, firing back at that suspect, 35-year-old Leland Williams, 12 times as he fled. Now, police say Williams tried to rob that bank, saying he was there to open a new account, giving a false name. Deputy Brown would make every cop in America proud. Evil came at him and he went down, but he didn't stay there. He got up and went at evil until the fight was over. Officers say this could have ended much worse, but thanks to a team of Fort Worth police officers who arrived minutes later and tended to him, Deputy Brown is improving today, walking once again, but a recovery really could take months. The Fort Worth police chief says witnesses directed a SWAT team to the suspect at a relative's home. It did end with an arrest. Police tell us he refuses to speak with investigators, so we still do not know his motive.